असलम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे अवर लेसन इज फ्रैक्शन चैप्टर नंबर नाइन एंड लेक्चर नंबर थ्री एंड अवर टॉपिक इज कंपेरिंग एंड ऑर्डरिंग फ्रैक्शन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड इट बाय एन एग्जाम्पल हेयर वी हैव क्वेश्चन विच इज ग्रेटर वन बाय टू और फाइव बाय सिक्स so we have to tell them in both of fraction which fraction is greater so let's start its solution here we have the diagrammatically representation of 1 by 2 here we have total two parts from which we are taking one part okay similarly we have representation of 5 by 6 we have total six parts from which we are taking five parts 1 2 3 4 5 now from the diagram you can see very easily that the shaded area of 5 by 6 is greater than 1 by 2 so you can see it very clearly that our fraction 5 by 6 is greater than 1 by 2 okay we can do comparing and ordering fraction by a second method which is through equivalent fraction first of all we will learn the steps of equivalent fraction that how to compare and order fraction through equivalent fraction number first step is make the value of denominator same by multiply with suitable number it means for making the denominator same we have to multiply our given fraction by any number our second step is compare the values of numerator after completing our first step we have to compare the values of numerator so let's understand the second method with the same example i am taking the same example because you people will know that both the methods gives us the same answers so here we have 1 by 2 we know that if we multiply 1 by 2 with 3 we will get the answer 6 in the denominator and as you know in the fraction 5 by 6 you have the denominator 6 now in this fraction you have also the denominator 6 it means our first step is completed denominator of 5 by 6 and 3 by 6 is same now let's go to the second step compare the values of the numerator by comparing the values we can see that 5 is greater than 3 it means 5 by 6 is greater than 3 by 6 now giving the final answer we have to keep in mind the one point which is we have to mention the original fraction in our final answer as you have converted 1 by 2 into 3 by 6 okay but when you are going to give the final answer you have to mention the original fraction in your answer similarly you can compare three fractions and so on you can compare any fractions whether they are 2 3 or 4 by the method of equivalent fraction you just need to remember these two steps of comparing and ordering fraction